is a little less better than welcome to the brand spanking new Halloween update as you can see from the new things grace in the store but no worries there's much more in store than just the store I'm sorry I had to fit that pun in there because the update is here and with a brand spanking new set of events that we are going to be able to do so ho 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 happy Halloween let's freaking get to it actually hold up before we get to it i am equipping the biker lantern because i'm getting in the freaking festive spirit and now we got a few freaking bats over here billy bob and uh billy bob the three bats that are following us around so without further ado let's take our three booties plus travis and our own booty of course and go and see what new event is awaiting us because the new update baby it's a great time. Nothing more hype than a new update to check out. Hope that y'all are excited for this as well. And yeah, we will be popping that open too. Because look at that. There's a new costume, a new outfit that we're going to be able to do. And yo, Katrina's Cemetery. Energetic music and lights are coming from the old cemetery. There's definitely something strange going on over there for the next pretty much week and a few hours. So hop on this absolutely ASAP, folks. This event is only going to be around for a week. This Halloween event is. So we are going to have to freaking get to it and we'll see exactly what we are going to be getting into over here at katrina cemetery and if y'all are excited for the halloween festivities to begin smash that like button and let me know in that comment section down below either what you think of the update or what you're going to be for halloween man if we got the halloween theme going on with the update and all that i would love to hear from y'all as well regarding uh you know what's going on what y'all got planned for halloween if there's any fun plans y'all are going to be partaking in the day of the dead any good costumes you got lined up anything and everything like that would absolutely love to hear about personally for me i'm being loki the, from the freaking uh whatchamacallit from the tva from the series the disney plus series that came out like earlier this year so yeah another reason i've been go growing out my hair is y'all may have uh, been able to tell from our Instagram over at, at Starsnipe on Instagram. Link in the description to all that too for all of our, for all of our other socials. But uh, decorate the grave to pay respect uh, to the dead. So it appears that we are able to decorate the grave with marigolds, a ritual flower of the day of the dead. And where exactly do we get these? La Catrina. Uh, oh, it appears that we can get them with some of these purple tickets. Pay respects to the dead in the cemetery and I'll give you a reward for the efforts when the holiday is over. The better you decorate the graves, the more valuable the reward will will be so for 20 of these tickets we can acquire the flowers that we need and then i'm guessing every time that we decorate a grave we need something better to decorate it the next time and then there are also multiple presents we can get one is green quality one's blue quality and one's purple quality all right right off the bat Listen, that reminds me of the police station, which makes me think that this purple present over here is going to have some really good stuff up inside of it. Definitely going to want to be getting my hands on that. And what is going on over here? A backpack style phantasm can be received to the inbox when the holiday is over. If all graves at the cemetery are upgraded to their fullest extent. Dude, let's go. You can get a free backpack skin just for upgrading all the cemeteries to the max. A backpack skin that, by the way, looks pretty freaking promising and dope from what I'm seeing over there. And oh, wow, there are a a lot of graves in this graveyard uh plot twist i know i'm already seeing what like five oh yeah there's more billy mace here but wait there's more there's just more and more freaking graves popping up uh yeah we are gonna be some busy bees trying to decorate this place and if i had to guess i think the way that it's gonna work i i lost count dude i think what is there probably like uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it looks like ten graves so in order to fully decorate them with marigolds we're gonna need 200 of these tickets to do that and then i imagine we might need 10 of this and then 10 of that so we are gonna be on a ticketing spree trying to get everything that we need to make this happen uh you do you have anything to say marco uh oh my god he's got quest for us thank you that's gonna make it a lot better to get some of these things. The preparation for the holiday is very troublesome. We have to decorate graves, prepare treats, and provide the safety of guests. We can use some help of yours. Guests are always welcome here, but unfortunately, some of them leave a lot of garbage. Help me clean up the cemetery or the dead will get angry with us from the mess. Well, all right. I'll take it. It looks like these quests do a reset every eight hours. So similar to the season that we are partaking in, you can actually, uh, whatchamacall, get a new set of quests every eight hours, which is definitely a good sight to behold, which means we're going to be able to absolutely knock the bejesus out of this. I do wonder if we might also be able to, uh, whatchamacall, I wonder if we might be able to collect like season pass points and stuff somehow connected to this Halloween event too, because by the sounds of it, Actually, no, I don't, no, no, it's not gonna end. No, this ends a few days after the season ends. Never mind. I got my days mixed up, right? It's been a long week. It's only Tuesday, and it's been a long week. It's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, my sense of time has been completely shattered. But you know what I do know about time? Time 
is a funny thing because every single Friday, same time, same place, twitch.tv slash stars up. We are live having some fun with last day on earth. Make sure you pop out over there. Link in the description and in the pinned uh, comment. And while that happens, uh, drink some whiskey to pay respects to the dead. Uh, so I got to drink some whiskey in the cemetery and then find the zombie and kill it. Ooh, we got to hunt down a special zombie. Well, all right, we got to find some whiskey and we got to go to the farm. That appears to be the quest that Marco has in store for us for now. So without further ado, let's get to them. And then we'll also be able to see as we are exploring the farm, how we might also be able to get these tickets in other methods or in other ways. And it does not appear that we have like, uh, what you call, ooh, the uh, pieces of candy. I'll, I'll just pick up a few things here. Why not, man? I'm always a person to pick up some stuff. Uh, but I do wonder if we might be able to get these tickets via other methods as well. Like maybe just like killing zombies will also drop tickets and potentially like killing bosses too. So the farm's gonna be a great place to check that out. We got a boss definitely to look forward to over there and then uh, zombies as well. So toot toot, let's freaking get going. And hopefully I'll go on and get going over to that stream that I'm talking about, twitch.tv slash star slash, where we're live every single week, same time, same place, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't know what time that, that starts in your own local time zone, twitch.tv slash star slash schedule. We'll go ahead and let you know what time that it starts in your own local time zone. Once you figure it out for the first week, you are good to go because we are always live, same time, and same place. So looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there. We're going to be having some fun with Last Day on Earth, especially with the fact that this week we get some Halloween shenanigans on top of all the fun and all the hype that we are having there. Not to forget the fact that we always got the face cam roll and making for a bit of a unique experience of compared to, uh, whatchamacallit, compared to the videos for those of y'all who are always asking for face cam and stuff like that. And then the live chat too, so y'all can participate and interact with the stream, with the community, with me, as all this stuff is going on. So looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there. And I think we're going to maybe try to do a little Halloween themed giveaway this Friday as well. You know, I mean, let's, uh, you know, it's the spirit, you know, trick or treat and y'all are going to be getting treats and hello, already I see comrades on the edge of my radar, a red dot and this red dot appears to have a, a, a yellow circle around it. This makes me think that this is the dot I am looking for. So we will see exactly what we are getting into. It appears to be a 500 health dangerous Raul zombie. We will see just how dangerous the schmuck is. All right, I'll go and as our backup plan, have the pistol in case we do got to freaking dine and dash out of here. Raul, hola! Oh, no, 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 no. He's going ahead and trying to get a little bit of a yell in. Well, guess what, baby? No, no, no. You are not going to be yelling at me. I am not getting caught up in this. Although I am curious, how much damage do you do, my guy? Only six damage. This is actually a very reasonable, uh, whatchamacallit, zombie boss that y'all can go ahead and engage in a melee battle with. Should you shoot? Oh my goodness gracious, he did 78. Why? Why did that just happen? Okay, I see why he's called Dangerous Raul and not just Raul. He hit me for 82 damage with some pretty freaking good armor too. Oh my guy. Raul, I love you. Except for the 80 damage you did to me. He got me the whiskey I needed too. That is going to make my life uh, definitely a little bit easier. Now, while we are at it, let's go and get to zombie slaying too and see if we might be able to pick up these tickets from just slaying regular zombies or do we need to wait for the quests to respawn? Ay, caramba, bro. From what I saw, unfortunately, I, I don't think that we got anything out of killing that. We only got eight suspicious minerals. So this looks like something that we might need to like literally stay on top of and uh, focus the bejesus out of with knocking out these quests every eight hours. That appears like it might be the only way of getting the points that we need. Well, alrighty. And then also after going through some of the update notes a little bit more in depth as well, it does appear like I think that there are like special guests and stuff that can also appear at the Halloween location periodically. So that's another thing I'm definitely keeping my eye on is hopefully if we notice something different, something unique uh, pop up over there. Definitely want to see what is inside of the purple box that I need to absolutely 1000% get to the bottom of it also ladies and gentlemen we gotta go and get to the bottom of what's going on at the gas station because another thing that this update introduces after i lord knows how long i do not remember how long i have been waiting for this i've been waiting for cool a uh, hoot man i've been waiting for a hoot nanny of a hot minute to finally see what is within star why are you going to the gas station you want to see what's in your gas tank you want to get some some gas uh, no well i mean if there's free gas i'll take it but no that's not why i'm going i am going because inside of the gas station there should be available to us for the very first time in the existence of eternity the v i p zone the thing that's been being worked on for i think years at this point 
finally has got something. Dude, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? He's telling me I can't go in. Sir? Sir? Uh, sir? Why can I not go in? What do you mean I can't go in? Well, okay, at the very least, it looks a lot more complete inside of here. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of a zoom out and look at all the jazz that we can see going on inside of there. I see some freaking power armor going on here, dude. Like, I, what, I, I, I don't know if this is like, I, I don't know when this is going to be available. I imagine they're going to unlock it sometime during this update because it's literally updated and there are things inside that we can access. There's like water bottles here that I can access. Like, look at all of this, man. It is finally all fleshed out and i'm just gonna wait for my zoom out here to go ahead and regenerate look at that we can actually look at the radar the radar is telling us quite a few interesting things too like for example up inside of the gas station there's gonna be some sort of a chest we're gonna be able to access a few more people a few of those gear icons indicating some form of interactivity here we got this like medical fence that it appears we are gonna be able to interact with in some way shape or form or fashion the water bottle fence that we were talking about too i'm gonna try to get every single freaking angle on this vip zone so we can see what's going on this power armor man I, are we gonna be able to like craft power armor or something because look at it it's right there and it's got the genesis logo on it too dude is genesis somehow behind everything that we are seeing i don't know but you sir stop being so rude and let me in well yeah i mean i I'm, I'm very excited to freaking open up that door in some way shape form or fashion and see what is hiding on the other side but also if y'all do not know you can acquire the bike that we are riding today uh what should i call the uh turning in some items that you can collect from the season over here at the gas station so another thing to definitely go ahead and make sure that you take note of and i'm just really quickly trying to see is there like any other way that i could get to like the other side of the vip zone like i'm trying to like see if i could somehow get out of the map or something here i want to see what other angles present to us like you know like maybe i don't know let's do like a bit of a zoom out here maybe this will uh, reveal something a little bit different like uh we got what appears to be look at that there's like a little like merry-go-round or something going on over there too and there's like the freaking giant slot wheel like i'm gonna be keeping tabs on this as soon as i find out how the heck we get up into there I tell you what, folks, I will do whatever it takes to become a VIP and showcase for y'all exactly what is going on in the depths of that location. Because you gotta imagine it's gonna have some juicy, juicy deets. Oh, way to go. Speaking of which, that's just another reason that y'all should definitely go ahead and be subscribed. If you have not yet, with that notification bell up, because as soon as a new update does come out, as soon as a newness does come to last out on Earth, we are always trying to absolutely ASAP show off everything that it has to offer so y'all can see what awaits inside of a such things. Because, I mean, think about it, right? Because, you know, y'all know me, I'm a pretty end game player got a decent supply of loot so i do not mind burning through it a little bit you know going a little bit balls to the wall guns blazing and trying to do everything in my power to defeat everything that the game throws at us so hopefully y'all can get a good idea of what to expect and how to prepare when you yourself are potentially preparing to partake in some of the activities and festivities that you may indeed be seeing with all right katrina cemetery Let's see if anything new has appeared for us up in here uh, today. La Katrina, nothing new has appeared, but oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, I was mistaken. Marco, uh, oh, I gotta drink some whiskey in here. Yeah, don't diddly mind if I diddly do. And that quest has been completed. We are now up to 648 tickets. So actually, I stand corrected. I think this entire time, you actually do collect these tickets, but it just doesn't pop up. You know, like we, we get the pop up, right? Letting us know that, uh, you know, we collected some of these suspicious minerals, but I don't think we get a pop-up for the tickets, but it does appear like we are collecting them. So definitely an interesting thing uh, too. So definitely an interesting thing to take note of over there. Also to take note of, of course, the freaking gifts of the dead pack and this, the muerto, this is a dope a freaking skin over here and even like with a little like what is that like a little pistol holder we got the like awesome belt we got what appears to be like decked out costume body armor like this is awesome we're gonna be rocking this so don't you worry about that and popping this thing open because you get a guaranteed tactical backpack for opening up six of these puppies 10 bucks a little under 10 bucks so not the worst in the world especially with the guaranteed tactical backpack a few guns and then let's not forget either oh ho, ho, wow, wow, wee, wow. a chance at some extremely rare modified weapons as well but all right all right all right all right all right without further ado let's get to decorating shall we? i want to buy one of these and then i want to see what happens after i decorate the first grave it is decorated and the next up oh it's gonna take a little bit more is it well all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and buy a few more of these i'm also curious if maybe once we decorate all the graves to like a certain uh i don't know like a certain level 
You know, maybe if, if like all the graves hit like level one, for example, I wonder if something unique might happen, dude. I, I don't know, man. I gotta feel like there's gotta be more. I feel like that more might still occur over here. But for now, uh, let's just go and continue decking out some of these graves. We are still a few of these short. Uh, we are about two short before, uh, three short before we can decorate everything. So I was hoping to pop open this purple freaking present here, which uh, uh, we're gonna have to hold off on a little bit. We're gonna have to hold off for a little bit. No worries though, we are gonna get these tickets. Oh, I also wanna see if auto clearing, for example, uh, might be able to get us tickets too. I am curious about that, but let's just go ahead and decorate each and every one of these graves. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, every grave has hit level one. Right? Like, I'm not missing no secret graves over here. Nothing like that. Every grave should be within level one. Uh, now, the question is, too, I wonder how high of a level these things even go as well. I don't know. But, all right. I want to get that purple box first. Definitely want to pop open, like, one of each color if possible. Uh, I got to imagine we might go back to the farm and try to kill the boss battle over there. Because, again, it's a pretty easy-peasy boss battle. Uh, maybe stop by the motel, too. Get a quick little boss dub over there. Uh, because it, I, I got to imagine those will give us more points. Uh, you know, if we're going points harvesting, man, might not be a bad idea to take our boat up to the north and maybe hit up the Dead Island. Because, like, so many zombies there drop a lot, a lot of seasonal items. And these Halloween items that we're getting seem to be treated similarly. It's a seasonal items. Now, really quickly, right? Really quick here, lads. Just curious. If I also clear this. Wow! Let's go, baby! We do get a hundred of those thingy majigs. That's what I like to see. Okie dokie. Well, that is a relief. So, all right. We are going to have some boxes in today's future. Don't you freaking worry. That is going to be happening. I thought, dude, if we only had to rely on the quest, it might be a bit tough. But, uh, yeah, that just further kind of, like, proves my point that it, it just... You can get these from what appears to be the usual seasonal ways. But just for whatever reason, it doesn't pop up when you kill a zombie. Because I definitely had more points than I should have. And the only explanation was it was from the zombies I was killing. Those giving me suspicious minerals. But also, it appears to have also been giving me that entire time. The tickets that require for the Halvin festivities. Now, all right, Crooked Creek Farm. Let's see what you are all about, my comrade. We already going ahead and got through a few of the zombies up in here. And we only got to get through a few more to get to the boss. Because that's the most important thing at the end of the day. I just want to go mano y mano with the boss that is available over inside of this location. Yoko, 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 please eat sledgehammer. And all righty, we got, I think, pretty much just like these two guard zombies. Uh, I might go ahead and try to get a sneaky deaky attack off on the savage giant. Save a little bit of weapon durability. Hopefully, no. Yeah, okay. He still managed to get hit off on us. That is kind of what I was slightly worried about. A uh, pistol drizzle him from afar. And there you go. We are collecting those suspicious minerals. And I gotta imagine we are also behind the scenes uh, collecting those Halloween tickets. So, hokey dokey with that, it is time for our favorite showdown with our favorite comrade. Hello, hello, hello. Monsieur Ravager. How are you? Please don't strip me naked. That'd be a pretty rude thing to do. Usually like to lure the Ravager over here out into the middle of things. Why? Because it just kind of tends to make things a little bit easier. We're going to go ahead and play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie until the Ravager, there you go, enters his spitting mode. And once the spitting mode is entered, it's very easy for us to go ahead and get three slices off and then just go and dodge and weave. And the Ravager will be none the wiser, but he will be uh, much the deader, which is going to be a beautiful sight to behold so we're just gonna go ahead and continue this strategy over here if you have a machete what i like over here and i freaking did not modify this machete i should have definitely done that that would have made my life a little bit easier saved a little bit of durability done a little bit more damage made this a little bit quicker and even unlocked our freaking uh whatchamacallit associated ability with it we got to be really careful man if he hits us with that spit it's no bueno so if you want to play an extra safe with a weapon that is the speed of the machete you can usually get off you can very safely get off two swings before you got to go ahead and run away from his next spit but if you want to play it on the uh if you want to play a little bit riskier as y'all are seeing me do here you can get away with three swings relatively safely. That one was a little bit close. I actually uh, did not. I almost got caught inside of that spit just because, like, I didn't move enough. But luckily, the movement is there. And okie dokie. When it comes to the sledgehammer, this thing's a bit slower hitting. I don't know how many hits. Uh, okay, so if you have a sledgehammer, man, it's two hits and four. We'll go ahead and send that fella flying. Thank you for the goodies right over there. I'll be taking those off your hands. And all right, let's pop by the motel really quickly. Take out the uh, weeper, which is a bit of an easy your kind of like mini boss type of kill and uh oh i forgot there is a freaking river of gunk we got across and then 
we will go ahead go back and do some openings of these boxes we've upgraded everything up to level one i'm kind of tempted to see if we can upgrade one of the graves to the max so we can find out what the max is so we can kind of just like know what to expect too and i mean also the motel is like literally right here so why would i not go to the motel there's no point not to go especially if you're popping by the farm the motel is barely any energy and barely that difficult the zombies in here i mean it's it's the easiest location out there you know out of like all the locations the farm the police station the bunkers like no place is as easy as the motel unless i am blind and or forgetful to be fair i do have goldfish memory this is a well-documented fact but uh regardless yeet let's go and get to yeeting some roman zombies because luckily for us the sledgehammer is a one-hitter quitter we can go in and send these fellas flying easy peasy lemon squeezy and if there is a uh what you call a fast biter yeah we might need to go in and do a two-hitter quitter that's all right a two-hitter quitter a single two-hitter quitter is not the end of the world let's go and get this gas cylinder over i wish i could just take this thing back home with us man this seems like the gas cylinder that we get like from bunker bravo and stuff obviously a lot bigger and we have to literally carry it but it looks like the thing that we put inside of our item i would love could i just could this just be the gas owner can i steal this from the motel no i could only blow it up however that is not the worst thing in the world because uh, the boom boom <laughs> who does not like a little bit of boom boom and yay let's go and get to swinging on these zombies and of course if you do have the lock picking skill as well even just level one always want to open up this doorway over here which leads you to a single zombie who you can go and take out before he even has the opportunity to attack you who is protecting a closet and inside of this closet this wardrobe free grenade like come on this is like literally if you like you should constantly be doing the motel every chance you have because even just go up to this doorway and easy peasy you will have a grenade and especially when a season's going on killing the weeper is one of the easier mini bosses to kill it's really not that threatening really does not do much damage and look at this it didn't even attack me once but we just got 50 suspicious minerals out of that easy peasy lemon squeezy now if you'll excuse moi uh, we got some points over here that i would like to go and uh spend and go and see a little bit more of what the graveyard is all about you see you dig and of course another thing to keep in mind as well as the fact that i mean the developers know that this is a one week event so i think that everything like this should be a very doable thing especially with this these pretty easy quests you can knock out every eight hours uh the fact that you can get these things literally just for like a lot of the stuff that you would get from working on the actual season as well Minus, of course, uh, you know, actually like going to the dig site uh, and stuff like that. Although I will say it does make me wonder. I wonder if the, if you kill the zombies at the dig site, you can actually go ahead and collect some of the uh, mineral or not the minerals, but some of these tickets and stuff. That is actually an interesting point that does intrigue me. But all right, let's just go and get a marigold and let's get a candle. Let's upgrade at least one of these up to level two. I went ahead and went on a tear to go and get our hands on some more tickets uh, too, because I do want to go ahead and kind of uh, take this a little bit more uh, to the max. We just upgraded that. And and the final upgrade i think is going to be one of each of these let's just go ahead and confirm that because if so that means that the third upgrade level takes 170 tickets the second takes 70 and the first only takes 20 we got a little bit of everything that we need bada boom bada bing and i finished faster than you let's go i don't know what that's supposed to mean but that does complete the grave so it appears like you are gonna need 20 plus 70 plus 170 which comes out to about 240, 260 per grave, 10 graves. It appears like you're gonna need 2,600 points, if my math is correct, to fully deck out the grave and get your hands on this reward. And hopefully some other rewards to boot too. That'd be pretty cool if we got other stuff on top of that. But uh, all right, La Katrina, I definitely wanna see what's inside of there. Definitely want to see what's inside of there and also want to see what's inside of the blue. So I'm gonna go and get a few more tickets. I've got some more tickets, uh, La Catrina. I will take one of the blues and I'll also go ahead and while we're at it, I got enough tickets over here to get another upgrade up to level two. So might as well, you know, when in Rome, bada boom, bada bing, upgrade that thing. And uh, yeah, we are definitely gonna be working towards that as well. But now, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. It is time. Oh, not, not just the drum roll. We also got the dramatic guitar in the background. It's time to see exactly what we can get out of these boxes. Will it be one item? Will it be many? Will it be a gun? Will it be blueprints? Who knows? But wish us luck, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're opening the green. Boots. I got boots. 
All right. Well, the green, I don't know if I would ever buy that again. But how about the blue? Oh, pantaloons. Those are some nice pantalones. I like, I like. Okay, the blue, I would consider. After I deck everything out here, you know, after I already finished uh, de decorating all the graves, you know, because all of this is kind of just cherries on top, if you think about it, if you have these tickets. Uh, but then finally, the purple, which my hopes, high, my hopes are very high for, because purple... And last day on Earth means good things. So without further ado, please show me something good. And it appears like it's just different tiers of armor. Okie dokie. So, I mean, unless I just got really unlucky and got armor every time, this box appears to get you a piece of armor of the corresponding tier. This is a tier one. This is tier two. Or this is military tier. This is SWAT tier. And it's just like worker tier, you know? So... It appears like it's just a different tier of armor that you get. Which, I mean, hey, if you want to get your hands on some SWAT armor, by the looks of it, the purple card is going to be a great way of doing that. Blue is going to be a great way to get your hands on some military armor. But, uh, yeah. We will be opening up more of those, though. We'll be getting to the bottom of if we can get more than that, too. Because I got a feeling that maybe we will be able to. You know, time will tell. We'll do our due diligence, and we will have some fun as we continue celebrating the Halloween festivities. But with that, to do with that, done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to be a celebrated end to this episode of Last Day on Earth and the new update. In the midst of a new season, we're kind of participating in a double update. If you think about it, we got the new season, season 17 festivities, and we got the Halloween festivities. We got a nice little double whammy going on. You love to see it. What's there not to love? Nothing, because everything's lovable. Boy, that's it. That, that, that's gonna start wrapping it up. Follow me for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.